Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. Well, if you enjoy the Blancpain 50 Fathoms, but you want more, consider yourself fulfilled. Your ship has come in. Today, we're discussing the Blancpain 50 Fathoms 500 Fathoms GMT limited edition of 500 pieces in titanium. For you scorekeepers out there, this is reference 50021. You can see and you can purchase this larger than life 1000 meter titanium diver on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this extraordinary watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this 500 Fathoms GMT limited edition. Now the watch on my wrist is larger than life. It dwarfs human anatomy and that's the point. A no holds barred tool watch with luxury watch finish. This timepiece is simply packed with features, of which the most notable may be viable ergonomics for a smaller wrist. Well, how does Blancpain achieve that? Let's talk about the size first. 48 millimeters is across the round of the bezel, not inclusive of crown, crown guards, or the helium escape valve at 10 o'clock. But you can see the watch entirely in satin finish titanium has reasonable mass. The titanium makes it light on the wrist, an impression compounded by the lightweight sailcloth strap. Now the timepiece from lug to lug is reasonable. At 53.5 millimeters, though this is a 48 millimeter watch, it's the same span across the wrist as a 44 millimeter conventional Panerai Luminor, meaning that if you can wear a Panerai Luminor, you can wear the 500 fathoms. The watch is thick though, almost 19 millimeters at 18.8. This is not going to slide underneath any dress cuff, but but this is a timepiece for good times and short sleeves in any case, or long sleeves of the wet or dry suit variety. Now the timepiece does have that compact dimension across the wrist such that I believe down to 15 centimeters in circumference you're going to be able to wear this watch easily on your wrist. And it does sit light because of the titanium and comfortably because of the fact that the strap is completely unconstrained, fixed to the lugs by screws for extra security, no spring bars here. It's tightly fixed, and as you can see, it doesn't want to flare. You can pull it straight down around a smaller wrist. The lugs are also very short and tightly downturned. You can see they barely exit beyond the case flank. So this one's not gonna overhang your wrist, even if you're borderline for its size. On the underside, very supple. You can feel there's a rubber inlay that separates the sailcloth from the grit, moisture, sweat, and oils of the wrist, while at the same time giving you an extra measure of comfort. The clasp is high grade, satin finished stainless steel for extra security and it closes and turns one of its swing arms into a twin trigger spring mechanism for added security when closed beautifully made it's appropriate to the price point of this watch and the stature of the Blancpain brand offering additional security against droppage while donning or removing of course beautiful imagery on the back but we're not there yet let's talk about the basics. You get a satin finished case for low glare, and in my opinion, this is appropriate given the overpowering size of the watch. Polish, as on the 5015, would have been just a little bit too much, a little bit too hublot, a bit too fabulous. You can see the helium escape valve for you saturation divers out there, and I'm happy to say, because it is a make or break for any dive watch, the bezel feels and sounds phenomenal. The detents are perfect. I would even say Although I can't finger, you know, fingerprint spot or exactly determine why. The bottom line is that it does feel better even than the 5015's bezel. I don't know if it's the click, I don't know if it's the titanium structure and the resonance, but for whatever reason, it's a lot more positive than the standard watch, and the standard watch is good. There's a cambered sapphire atop the bezel, and that allows Blancpain to fully loom the bezel itself, because it can't be scratched off. The sapphire is as scratch resistant as the crystal itself for long wearing durability and an almost wet magnification look that harks back to the acrylic on the original 50 Fathom dive watches, but with much greater durability. Now the watch does deserve a loom shot. Everything you see on the dial is applied white gold with luminescence. Again, this one's so spectacular. Let me kill some lights and let's change up the look. I do not always do loom shots, but when I do, 
it's generally for a 50 fathoms. As you can see, this thing is an absolute UFO. Hold it up to the window from your jetliner and someone's going to call in an extraterrestrial sighting. Absolutely blinding. You can see the value of that sapphire cap on the bezel, which allows you to have a fully loomed bezel with no hazard to the loom paint chipping off. Line up the diamond index with the 60 minute hand and the minute hand and the index with the calibrations give you an impromptu 0 to 60 minute countdown timer. Easier to read and more practical than a chronograph, it coexists with the watch's dual time complication and swim ability to create a huge but very versatile watch. I prefer to use the bezel for timing intervals between meetings, classes, or if you must, the kids time out. Let there be light. And we're back. Now, of course, all of the indices, the numerals, the hands, as well as the chapter ring at center in white gold, there is a date, and there is a reference time zone hand with a red tip, not to be confused with the seconds hand. You pull the crown out to its intermediate position, and now you can drive the date forward or backwards, setting your time locally, pull it out all the way, activate hacking or stop seconds. Now you can set everything in sync. Of course, the crown screws down, and it's a wonderfully knurled crown that's a pleasure to use, easy to grip. The watch for an automatic winder is remarkably smooth. It's a fun watch to wind manually, and fun fact, it would take about 108 to 110 turns if you were to wind the 120-hour three-barrel power reserve to completion. It's better to get it started and let the automatic winding take over. Now, you can see the case back is spectacular. With a nautical propeller, featuring gorgeous engine-turned perlage, as well as a drilled engraving of bubbles or cavitations along the flank of the propeller. Now you can see beneath, this is Blancpain's caliber 5215. It's based on the 1315 and thus based on the 13RO. You will not see this level of finish on a tool watch movement under almost any other circumstances. Mirrored enclage that is absolutely beautiful and looks like it belongs on a Vacheron. There's a unique striation or dressage brushing to the bridge plates themselves, but make no mistake, the finishing is exquisite. As well as the finishing of the jewel sinks, you will find the same kind of mirrored polish there. The screw heads are polished and their slots chamfered. We do have a free sprung balance for durability and to better take and hold a precise regulation. There's dual time functionality. The watch also features a remarkable degree of durability. Don't be fooled, though the 13RO originally had its genesis as an upscale dress watch movement. This is an over-engineered caliber, and the 1315 on which it's based in the 50 Fathoms has been known to survive everything from target practice with high-powered rifles to ATV and snowmobile use. And while I don't necessarily endorse that kind of use, the fact that we've heard survival stories speaks to the toughness of this basic caliber, and I can attest as to its beauty. This is a watch that really does it all. If you've got the wrist to pull it off or a sensibility to wear something larger than life with a movie star persona, you owe it to yourself to consider this Blancpain 500 Fathoms GMT in titanium available on our website.